at the end, if you make the calculation, it only needs a quarter of work than a normal uh, system and it still makes the same crop. Our approach is an intact ecological system. Our classic uh, grassland with all the butterflies and all the ecology turning, introducing the grapes into an ecosystem. So the grape has to live in an existing ecosystem. We're not taking a vineyard and trying to turn it ecological. We take the ecology and turn it into a vineyard. The vines have a dominant situation since they're higher up above the grass. They collect more sun. They are dominant in the plant society. Or they have a dominant position. So we have to be careful not having too many vines, otherwise they make too much shade and then we lose the uh, classic uh, grassland ecosystem so we plant wide apart and we also have two plants and one stem and then they go quite high up and uh, they are hanging down and when the plants are hanging down they don't make a long shoot so we don't produce much wood we produce much more grapes of course, you have to have a variety which is disease resistant, otherwise it doesn't work. As you see, we never went in with the tractor so far and uh, it's flowering now. So varieties which you don't have to spray, it's very easy to grow that way. You don't have to touch them throughout the year until harvest and pruning in winter. And of course, you have to cut the grass once or twice otherwise it's not possible to come in for harvest but the system is uh, very easy to maintain easy for pruning and easy for harvesting you don't have to bend down in this case this one is a wee bit high but uh, usually uh, further down the plants are on about eyesight and it's very uh, even growing and not too much humidity since we are way out of the grass and also um, the fungi don't get up from the ground that easily and the disease resistant variety makes it very simple to uh, to work with. You can hear the ecology singing, the birds are singing, the butterflies around, a lot of insect which makes it very stable uh, ecosystem. The bad insects are eaten by the good insects and you don't have one insect which is uh, taking over. So we don't have to spray any insecticide. We don't have problems with uh, berry moth because they're all eliminated by other insects which eats them but you have to feed them while there's no berry moth around so you have to have other insects. So the whole circle is working perfectly. And of course, there are a lot of mice in the, in the vineyard, which make a very good work in the ground. They uh, make good drainage. If there's a lot of rain, the water can go into the holes and uh, we never have erosion. Here are our cheapest labor, the mice. And they never eat uh, a grape. Never we lose a grape due to uh, the mice much less than the tractor. The tractor is much worse than, than these ones and they do a better job than the tractor because they don't compact the soil and still they make a good drainage. So these ones are very helpful. Of course you have to feed them so they eat the grass. Very important to have them in the vineyard. They are very good. Also we always have a complete cover crop which we manage. If it is dry we cut it and leave it so it covers the soil and if it's a lot of rain we let it grow so the humidity goes into the into the grass and it's more or less the uh, the way to control growth if you want more growth you cut the grass if you want less uh, growth 
you let the grass grow in. Very easy to handle and very efficient. Never too much growth, which also gives less uh, possibilities for uh, fungus, which you have quite often if uh, there's excessive growth, excessive fertilizer. We do not fertilize this vineyard for 20 years and still it grows very nicely because the whole circle of uh, nutrition is going into the green and back into the roots and into the green again and uh, it's a closed circle as it is in ecology. Ecology means closed circles. So we close all the circles uh, in terms of uh, natural production. Let's say it's the optimum production input outcome is on the optimum outcome side so you can't do better than that but the main thing is you have to have a resistant variety if you start to spray you bugger up the soil you have to work the soil you destroy the plant society you destroy the whole ecosystem and it doesn't work so the basic is having a variety which you don't have to spray or in a bad year maybe twice but not more than that and then you can work in that system. And now I show you how to make a variety which takes that uh, situation being dominant in an existing ecosystem. Here we see the variety 327, very old variety. I made it about 35 years ago. It's one of the first uh, having RPV 12 out of the Amorensis, and it is, call it a weed. It grows very nicely, and it's rather the hanging down type of thing, which as you can see, it just uh, covers, makes umbrella type of uh, canopy, and we do not touch it for the whole summer. It has still quite a nice crop. The clusters are not very big, but uh, it always yields very nicely makes a very nice uh, Sauvignon Blanc type of wine and very easy to maintain. Again, I say it several times because here we do not work through the whole summer. It's pruning, it's harvesting and in a bad year we spray it maybe twice. We have a lot of rain around here. As you can see, grass grows like uh, mad, but uh, enough water, no irrigation, and uh, at the end, if you make the calculation, it only needs a quarter of work than a normal uh, system, and it still makes the same crop, so I have a much better return, only a quarter of input, and still 100% of outcome. That's how a modern variety should be, a modern system, in this case, uh, the upside down hanging type of system which can also be pruned by har by machine and it can be harvested by machine but in our case in this steep vineyard it's all done by hand but uh, easy going. Now how do you see if a vineyard is not sprayed too much with fungicides? Very simple. If you have the moth growing on the plant you would kill it very quickly with copper or uh, other fungicides and if you have them covered like this means that there is not much uh, spray around so the ecosystem again is intact as you can see on the uh, life growing on the bark of the wines. Underneath the wines we leave the grass we mow just between the rows every uh, uh, alternate row but underneath the plant we leave everything it doesn't touch it doesn't harm at all and you have some very nice flowers later in summer oregano very nice smelling plant and uh, throughout the whole summer this part will be in total green and only in winter we cut it back when there's no more life in the grass and uh, even in summer you have some sort of a 
the covering where all the hair and the animals stay over over day get protected by the plant on top so we have a lot of hair this part is producing the hair of the whole region because nowhere else to live for them but they are in exile in my vineyard